segment. <laughs> All right. But Indeed. here we have it, guys. The countdown has started. It's going to be Liquid Rhett versus OGS MC on Shakura Split. So let's launch right into game number one. And you know, uh, both these players have actually taken their first set. So I know. we have a situation where they're both 1-0. The winner of this set, well poised to take that $1,000 top prize from the pool. Yeah, man. Whoever uh, wins this is going to become the leader in the group. So it's pretty huge. Let's get things going up at the top of the map. Top right part of the map, Shakura's Plateau. We have our Red Zerg player from the team, TeamLiquid.net. Give a cheer for Liquid Ret. All right, and his opponent down here, the bottom left-hand corner, one of the <laughs> most confident and boisterous players here. Oh, man, uh, <laughs> throwing out <laughs> uh, some choice words. He is OGSMC spawning as our blue Protoss. OMC, <laughs> you are a charmer, I gotta say. So, MC looks like he's already in position to put a pylon down on that low ground. That's where it's gonna go, so probably gonna see either a Nexus first or a Forge expand from MC. He likes both of those. Yeah, Brett on the other yeah. hand, not showing his hand quite yet. Uh, no super early pull out of him, but yeah. uh, um, I, I gotta say, man, I was super what? impressed with that set against Ryong. Like, I, I, I gotta say, OGSMC has had a little bit of a downswing lately. Yeah. I didn't know how he was going to fare in this pool, but he has already turned my head, and I can't wait to see what he's gonna bring out in well, this match. To a certain extent, too, I mean, it was interesting to watch, because I, I feel like uh, some of the decisions Ryong made were a little bit surprising, going for yeah. that one base on Zelnaga Fortress that's not very typical of a player like Ryong. And then also on the second map, doing that uh, that early expand that really plays into MC's strong timing style. So, uh, you know, I kind of feel like to a certain extent he made it a little bit easy for him. But we'll have to see. I mean, Ryong is a fantastic Terran player, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him come back and win some games as well. But Certainly. a very surprising series. We'll have to see how this one goes, you know? Yep, and uh, Liquid Red throwing down 14 pool and uh, doesn't want to have to deal with any sort of pesky harassment probe out of MC, so we'll get him mm -hmm. a couple of early links so we can secure his natural expansion. The Forge is about ready to finish up for MC, so we'll see some sort of cannon play and then a Nexus following that. Yep, you've kind of got those two things with uh, Zerg openings versus Protoss. I mean, a lot of Zergs go gas first and then the pool to get the Zergling speed really quick, but that makes your hatchery later. That hurts your economy, whereas going hatch first against Protoss, especially Protoss like MC, that Forge expands is basically like saying, kill me now with cannons, please. So uh, <laughs> Rhett's kind of gone in the middle. You know, he's got his yeah. pool. He's got going to have a couple lings out, but it allows him to produce more drones. He's going to have that better economy out. So I think it's a good kind of middle ground that a lot of Zerg players are starting to be pretty satisfied with. Yeah, certainly. And we have the expansion now coming up for MC over on the left-hand side. Cannon number one being placed down as well. Interesting position. He's actually planning for that to be, uh, knows exactly where that's going to be on the grid so we can stick two structures and hide that from any sort of roach play. Yeah. Um, great building placement out of him right away. Oh, definitely. That's a nice wall in from MC there. It's actually very, I'd say very uh, aesthetically pleasing as well, in my opinion. I don't know. That's I was an true. art major, so I look for that kind of artsy fartsy stuff. You know? No, I appreciate it. Yep. That's good. That's good. Yeah, liberal arts majors. Uh, <laughs> no, not here. liberal arts, regular arts. I was liberal arts. You shut well, up. That's okay, though. It's don't judge me. Don't, don't judge know. me. You and I'm your lofty judging. art degree. It's okay. I said it was artsy fartsy, not like an artiste. Right. Something You're like not that. shutting up still. Uh, <laughs> over here at the four o'clock position, though, you Red putting up his third base. I'd love you. Um, we do have two guests already in place now for OGSMC, though. Uh, so he's going to be moving pretty quickly over to tackle. We'll see if that ends up becoming uh, just some sort of a sentry expand. Cybernetic scores being thrown down at the moment. Yeah, wow. Rhett really being Rhett with that fast third expansion. I mean, that's, that's really early. Like, before any gas, that's... Mm -hmm. I've never seen a Korean Zerg do that, I think. That's that's crazy. Yeah, certainly. But, you know, it, Rhett is just a ridiculous macro player. He if he's left is. untouched for any period of time, he's going to max out in about 13 and a half minutes, Roachling, and then just swarm you endlessly with units. Yeah. Um, so let's see if MC decides to do just some sort of an abusive gateway attack. It is MC. I wouldn't be too surprised to see something like that. But he has a well, lot of gas saved up at the moment. Oh, well, actually, that's just right now expended into plus one and warp gate technology. Mm, okay, so we're probably going to see some sort of gateway timing then from mm -hmm. MC. Pretty popular. May decide to go ahead ahead and go for a plus two timing. We'll have to see if we see that Twilight Certainly. Council along with the other gateways that are going to be popping up pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like what Red is doing a lot. It's a response to uh, to what Protoss players kind of got into a habit of doing. 
for a while there, Protoss players in StarCraft II could kind of go on cruise control, kind of. They had these yeah. timings that worked really well. They were winning against, you know, a lot of different races, well, the other two races in their matchups. And uh, so there was kind of a lack of innovation in the Protoss race for a while. And so Zerg players started finding ways to adapt to that. And now we've seen it kind of swing the other way, where a lot of Zerg players are winning their matches versus Protoss. And we're starting to finally see some innovation on the Protoss side with players like Hero going for a lot of medevac, yeah, medevac, like uh, Warp, Warp Prism, Prism play, play, the Protoss medevac yeah. sort of, and, and uh, so yeah, that's exciting to see. So. No, Warp Prisms are certainly more viable than they've ever been with that health boost, and uh, especially when we see players like White Rock, I can't wait to see, oh, um, yeah, he actually right. told me before the event, he was like, no Zug is going to beat me, so <laughs> terrible White Rock that's, impression, but that's just, needs that's some sort bad. of expanding and then defense it. But I, uh, I heard White Rock in the hallway outside of my room last night, it was pretty quiet until I heard him, he's actually, he's a great guy, like I've lived with White Rock for a little bit of time, he's yeah. an awesome person, but he's got one of the like naturally loudest voices in all of pro gaming, I mean if you meet him you'll see but uh, yeah, heard him outside last night. I'm like, oh, White Rock. And the Dark Shrine is up, but it is revealed. Ah, okay. So Let Red has actually picked up on that. Uh, we'll okay. see how he's preparing, or maybe he. Let's see. He already has the Evolution Chamber in place. He's not gone over to Lair Tech yet. So no, oh, you're just going to be on the way now. There yep. we go. Okay. Yeah, I. You know, I, I still am always a little bit surprised when I see Protoss go for that earlier Dark Shrine now instead of leaving that until the mid or late game to do just harassment with because Zerg players are so prepared for that now, yeah. because they're already getting the extra Evo Chamber, especially against a player like MC who's known to use a lot of Void Rays and Phoenixes. So to go DTs, it's, it's kind of like kind of like rolling the dice. I mean, we're at a casino here, but that's a little bit too much gambling for me in this <laughs> game, I think. No, I agree with you, because you invest so much into that technology, you just don't have the units, especially a macro player like Red, who's yeah. just going to swarm you with an enormous number of units. Well, tech we'll coming up as well. Uh, we have the Spine Crawler not quite finished. He's pulling a lot of drones, though. A few links were in the mix. So these zealots are actually going to end up doing quite a bit of damage. Few I think you're right. And few drones do go down. Yeah, those zealots just absolutely tearing apart a lot of drones. The spine crawler does finish, but it's going to go down very quickly here. Rhett, you know, caught without a lot of offensive units right now. This is kind of one of the drawbacks of going for that heavy econ style. Look at oh, that. The DPs the DTs. coming in. Yeah, this third base is in huge trouble, man. It's wow, That's, and especially because Liquid Red decided to put down a Roach Warren there as well, so a lot of his tech is going to be suspect. Immediately actually throwing up a Roach Warren back inside his main. He's got a few lings in a pack moving across mm -hmm. the map, but uh, there's already pretty good pressure here from OGSMC, and all right, I will give credit where credit is due. I did not think the DTs were going to be a worthy transition, but uh, MC is well, making them work. They certainly can be. I mean, you see how fast they killed that hatchery there. Rhett tried to do a little bit of a Ling run by, but MC was prepared. He did have the complete wall off, so he's fine there. And look at that. Die, Larva. Two of them survive. <laughs> they have 10 armor. It's okay. DTs can one-shot Larva, though, so that's actually something you can do with DTs is target the Larva and then minimize the amount of units they can produce afterwards. And look at this. He moves right into plus two Charge Lot oh, Archon after that this. That is cool. This is good. This is a nifty OGSMC. Oh, you dog that, you. He's good. He knows that right now he's got a little bit of an edge being two base to two base against Rhett. Yeah, certainly. Rhett put a lot into his economy right now. He has a small group of roaches. He's got a little bit of a supply lead. But we'll have to see how things go. Those roaches are getting a little bit out of position. I'm worried about them moving out like that. Yeah, now we like have... MC doesn't want to engage, though. We have three more gates coming up for MC, so he's going to be on seven gate on two base. And while he knows he has forced his opponent to two base for quite a long period of time, it's going to give him a very strong platform to attack here, especially because he delayed those roach upgrades for so long. I mean, that yeah. was just another added bonus of being able to deny the space down here at the bottom right. Look at that cute little probe. Yeah, you go to town. You get that extractor. <laughs> He tried. Yeah. It was a noble one. effort. Yeah. Another pylon actually hidden back here down to the bottom right hand corner though, and that could prove mm. to be quite a source of problems for Red if he's not able to scout that soon. Absolutely. I mean if you're talking about PvZ right now, I think the, the real strength of like Dark Templars and things is to use pylons like that to harass expansions later in the game, especially if if you're talking about like a big map like Terminus or something. Shakuras is a little bit smaller. Right. But uh, that's generally what we're seeing a lot of Protoss players use those DTs for now. And let's see, let's take a look at Red side of things. He's going up to Infestors at the same time that he's fishing quite a few crucial upgrades. Uh, Cloud Constitution actually going to finish before uh, Zergling Speed does, and we have plus one missile attacks about to hit as well. So yeah. Red will eventually be on three base, but MC is close in supply. He's only, he's actually down by 12 workers, which means his uh, army supply is a little bit larger than his opponent's, and he is prepped to make a really, really powerful timing attack. Yeah, well, Blink just finished, so, so expect the attack to come really at any time right now. I think that was probably what he was waiting for, warping in some more stalkers, and here he goes, coming across the map with a pretty scary force right now. I mean, if you look at Rhett's army at the moment, 
it's uh, not something that I think can take on what MC has, and he knows it. I mean, he's got that observer there to see Rhett's army. Here we go. And here we go. The fight is about to commence. The Stalker's already blinking back pretty well. There we go. There's the forward blink. We do have Guardian Shield dropping down as well. Uh, those Archons are doing so oh, much damage, nice and Force, force fields. fields are trapping so many Roaches. Yeah, Beautiful play out of MC. Wow, MC just trying to steamroll his way to victory. Putting down a force field, but then running it over the Archons, blinking into the natural, and those Stalkers are surrounded. Oh, by drones. I mean, the Roaches are surrounded, but the Stalkers are now also surrounded. But it's okay to be surrounded by drones. It's not quite <laughs> scary. scary. Yeah. And this may very well end the game outright. Those uh, Roaches are trying to fight back as best they can, but the Garden Shield providing so much support from the range attacks of the Roaches, and those Stalkers yep. are continuing to push oh, forward. There's the Plus blink. two done for those as well. Roaches are falling down, and Rhett, GG's! Yep, the victory blink into the natural. You know it's over then. That's kind of like saying, get out of my game. That's how the Protoss drops the mule. <laughs> the Roaches uh, get blunked on. That is it. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So congratulations to OGS MC. He takes game number one, and man, he has looked so good this tournament. He's looking pretty strong. I mean, yeah, Rhett, Rhett played a little bit greedy there. I mean, he, he took...